Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Today, I am excited to share interesting features of the WordPress Media Folder plugin. With this feature, you can create a video gallery using content from both your local source and remote services like YouTube, Vimeo, and Dailymotion. The visual of your website has a huge impact on your visitors and can significantly boost your site traffic. Having a video gallery can greatly contribute to achieving that goal. So, let's dive right into it without wasting any more time. There's a cool feature called the Video Gallery in the Media Folder plugin. I'll provide a link to the plugin in the description below so that you can check it out yourself. To activate this feature, go to the WP Media Folder settings in your WordPress dashboard. Turn on the Remote Video feature in the Main Settings section and you're done. Now, let's get to the main part. To create a video gallery within your media library, start by accessing your library storage. You can add an MP4 video file to your library by uploading it from your local storage or by using the remote video feature. To add a remote video, simply enter the URL linked to the video you want to include. For example, you can grab URLs from various YouTube videos to create remote videos in your library. It's great to see how easy it is to incorporate your video gallery into your content page. You can use the Elementor page builder to do this quickly and easily. Just search for the WP Media Folder Gallery in the search bar and add it to your page. Then, select the video gallery you have created previously. After a quick loading time, the video gallery will appear on your page, neatly organized in rows and columns, each accompanied by its thumbnail. By clicking on a video, you can preview it and activate the respective media player from the original platform where it was added remotely. In the case of YouTube videos, for example, the YouTube media player will be activated. Adding a video gallery to your web page is exciting, but you can further improve its appeal by customizing its theme. Currently, there are four themes available, default, masonry, portfolio, and slider. Each theme offers a unique appearance and layout for your gallery. Additionally, you can adjust various display details like margins, borders, shadows, and more to create personalized configurations. Hi there. Let me show you the gallery level feature in the media folder gallery add-in. It's quite similar to the media folder library, but specifically for galleries. If you look at the left navigation tree, you'll see multiple galleries that can be created from your WP Media folder. Each of these galleries can be managed within the gallery level. Here's how it works, you can navigate to your newly created folder, link it to your gallery from the media library, and then easily select, upload, or automatically add content from your library to this specific gallery. It's a seamless process. To wrap things up, let's look at the pricing for the plugin. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. This plugin is available at $49 with all the features we've just tested in this video. All the cloud integrations and gallery features will require the $69 membership. And that's for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've discussed in the description. Have a productive day, bye.